వచ్చింది ప్రిటోరియాలో ఉన్నటువంటి వన్ ఆఫ్ ది మెగ్నిఫిసెంట్ నేషనల్ మ్యూజియం ఆఫ్ న్యాచురల్ హిస్టరీ ప్రిటోరియాలో క్యాపిటల్ సిటీలో ఉన్నటువంటి న్యాచురల్ హిస్టరీ మ్యూజియం ఇది వెరీ ప్రాముఖ్యత ఉన్నటువంటి ప్రదేశం ఇది సో లోపల ఏమేమి ఉన్నాయి ఏ టైప్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ హిస్టరీ హ్యూమన్ కైండ్ కానీ ఆస్ట్రాయిడ్ మీటియోరాయిడ్స్ కానీ లేకపోతే న్యాచురల్ రాక్స్ కానీ మెటల్స్ కానీ ప్రెషియస్ మెటల్స్ కానీ ఓకే లైఫ్ ఎలా ఇవాల్వ్ అయింది మొత్తం బయాలజీ హిస్టరీ జియాలజీ సైన్స్ మొత్తం అంతా కూడా తెలుసుకోవడానికి ఇక్కడికి వచ్చాను సో నా వెనకాల ఉంది ఒక విచ్ ఈస్ ఏ వెరీ డిస్టింగ్టివ్ ఫ్యూచర్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ మ్యూజియం ఏ డైనోసార్ ఫిలాజర్ డైనోసార్ ఫాసల్స్ ఉన్న వెనకాల ఇది వన్ ఆఫ్ ది ట్రేడ్ మార్క్ ల్యాండ్ మార్క్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ప్లేస్ అన్నట్లుగా సో ఇంకా లేటే లేకుండా లోపలికి వెళ్ళి అసలు ఏం జరిగింది ఏం జరుగుతుంది ఇక్కడ లోపల అని ఎన్ని అన్నీ తెలుసుకున్నాం ఓకే ఇప్పుడు వరకు మీ ఛానల్ కనుక సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేయబోతే సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేయండి ప్లీజ్ ఫాలో మీ ఆన్ ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ ఓకే లెస్ సి వీఆర్ వెయిట్ Looks like a real elephant, right? Eh? <laughs> also the, the calf. Let's go this way. As they say, one minute this way. So, what is so special about this place is that there are lots of fossils, okay? That are found in Africa, especially in South Africa, that are kept here. This is the National Museum of Africa. uh culture what is it not no 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 it's a national okay. museum of natural history natural history yes. natural history okay okay so this is what they found at the cradle of human kind here so these are the horses that they found cape horses and then you see that some 2 million years ago 2 million years ago let's see This is it's in the cobra cave but look at that fossil there yes. extinct what hog but so it's already gone so it's no longer available in this world yes so they found it from the cobra cave so this is the natural this is the cradle of human kind this is where all the animals and everybody used to live harmoniously those days this is just a picture okay and the next one is what is this man what is this pantera oh, from, from gold farm yes okay, let me just check it. let me go there it is easy so that i can talk yes. instinctively so so this is, so how does a panthera look like is it not is it like a panthera what but look at the way how they put the legs you see that all those things that they found here look at the legs look at the head so they identified everything here eh? సో ఇదేంటంటే ఒక ప్యాంతరు ఎలా ఉంటుందో అదంతా కూడా దాని నుంచి శిలాజాల నుంచి తీసుకున్నటువంటి బోన్స్ అన్నీ కూడా ఒక మ్యూజియం లో పెట్టారు దాని నుంచి ఓ దిస్ లైక్ ప్యాంతర్ సోర్స్ లైక్ సో ఇట్స్ ప్యాంత ఇట్స్ లైక్ ఎ లెపర్డ్ లెపర్డ్ ఓకే ఇట్స్ ఎ లెపర్డ్ ఈ లెపర్డ్ చిరుత శిలాజాల అన్నట్టు ఇవన్నీ కూడా సో ఇవన్నీ కూడా కలెక్ట్ చేసినటువంటి ఇవి బోన్స్ ఫాజిల్స్ యాక్చువల్ so that is actually that yes. okay sorry so you see that's actually that that's that is here ekkada undi danta okay na so that oh there is no picture for that so that we can see what is actually yes. happening so then what is happening here these are all extinct suits what hops again okay oh, yes. so these are those what hops so yes. those are the things and this one fossil bald mm-hmm. ibis okay so that is the bird yes. and this is the fossils for that okay no what is it could only manage to get the beak yeah the beak yeah you can see that clearly okay then so the oldest monkey from the cradle of human kind monkey yokka silajalu sakarinchi ikkada betta so close to 4.5 to 4 million years ago అప్పుడే మంకీస్ ఉన్నాయి అన్నట్టు లెక్క ఇది దీని ఎముకలు ఇక్కడ పెట్టారు ఇట్స్ 
సో ఇదేంటంటే డైనోఫిలస్ స్కల్ ఇవి కూడా బోల్ట్ ఫామ్లో దొరికినటువంటి స్కల్స్ ఇవన్నీ కూడా డైనో డైనోఫిలస్ అంటే ఏంటి డైనోఫిలస్ అంటే ఏంటి సో అటు ఒక చిరుతలాగే ఇది కూడా ఒక టైగర్ లాంటిది ఇది కూడా సో దాని శిలాజాలు ఇక్కడ భద్రపరిచారు ఇక్కడ ఉన్న అది డైనోఫిలస్ సో దాన్ని ఎన్లైజ్ చేయగా ఇది టీవీలో కనబడేది This is actually the skull of that tiger. Looks like a tiger, yes. right? Yes. They call it as Dinophilus skull. So this is the original one that they identified and this is the skull. This is the replica. So that's why it looks so polished. Oh, yes. So this is what they found in the fossils. But this is the replica. Found. So they're showing it on the TV here in all directions for us to see. Oh, yes. If you are interested in fossils. What is the study of fossils called? Is it not paleontology? I'm not sure. Not sure then? Yes. But we'll check. We'll check. So that's that. These are the writings. You see that? Yes. In 1338, 1336. They find this one. Uh, the rocks. Yeah, in the Stuck Fountain case, as you can see. Yes. So these are some of the research articles that are published about some of the fossils that were found here. So this is the biggest, biggest, biggest collection of fossils in the country, probably in the world. Yes. yes. I think this is where they make the replicas. Ah, yeah, they're making yes. replicas of it. Yes. That's right. So they already put some bones here, but we are not allowed to touch it. And we are not experts anyway. <laughs> so, so this is the microscopes. So these are some of the tools that they use. You see that? The microscopes and uh, some equipment. You see that? The small uh, zooming the lenses. Lens, lenses that they use and the creams that they use here to identify all these things. These are, these are some of the old-fashioned devices. If you look here. Magnifying glasses. Those days when they were using it. This is how they used to check. Okay? And those are, uh, what do you call that? Oh, it is tweezers. Magnifying. Yeah, those are the tweezers. So how does it look? Very <laughs> magnified. Okay? Yes. And these are some of the brushes that they use when they clean up the samples. You see, this is exactly what is happening. Oh. These are the tools that they're using and the, that are shown. Here. Yes, yes. And then here, excavation. This is, this is how they excavate. When they identify something on the surface, yes. then they dig a bit deep inside. So this is how they take you get these are some yes, of the yes. things that they find out and after that they follow that excavation process yes, okay yes. so this is actually the field work that is happening on the surface oh. but when they identify some samples then they dig 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 and identify what is inside okay yes. but south africa is very well known is very well known for uh, fossils we have lots of fossil reserves especially around the kruger's top stuck fountain area there are lots of fossils that were found even the humanoids even the dinosaurs all those things were found i actually say that this is actually the bolts form that's where they found all these fossils as you can see that okay so you always find things at this place okay and then this is the cradle of human kind yeah this is where they find all these fossils okay so you see that these are the excavations that they have done. Chrome dry. Stark Fountain Caves, which is very famous. Stark Fountain Caves, which is famous. And then this is the actual area. Okay. And then we are looking at this area, especially between Pretoria and Johannesburg. Okay. This is where all these excavations are happening. This is where they found all the fossils that are of really significant value you know, for the country. The Australopithecus Africanus from the Step Fountain Caves. Okay, and this is the humanoid, kind of a humanoid actually. This actually replicates, this is the one, they want to put a structure. This is how it would look like. 
So this is the video of this is players unfortunately this is what they found out the process of fossilization. But this is the palatal view and you can see the foramen magnum right under the skull. This provides very adequate material for reconstructions. There is a cast of Mrs. Place on the left. So they've reconstructed, is it? They so this is the actual reproduction on in the center with the muscles. But it's interesting yeah? to know that this is how our brain looked like yeah. huh? some years ago. Yes. Uh, our skull. So, uh, Museum of Museum Natural History. National Museum of Natural History. This is dinosaurs, bones, Even interesting thing is even you put okay formula there. In the region between Joburg and Petrello, there are fossils and you put a church. You are using a bit. The National Museum is very, very, very interesting collection of bones, fossils, um, history about paleontologists, archaeologists, and various scientists who project the project of the project. They acknowledge that. So that is the important thing to know about it. So this is a Dissong Natural Museum of Natural History. So if you want to go to the please visit this place. The entrance fee is very less. Only 45 friends for children. For adults, sorry. And 35 or 25 for children, I think. So, if you want to make a video, like, share, 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 and share, share, and subscribe to our Instagram. So, see you again next time. Bye-bye.